What is marine radar? The term radar is an acronym which stands for radio and range detection. A marine radar is a ranging and detection system that picks up signals from objects several hundred feet or several miles away from your vessel. The radar system sends out a signal in form of a sound wave. This pulse is sent out from the radar dish on top of your boat. When the signal is reflected by an object or target, the radar computer determines how far away it is and where it is located. It requires two types of readings for this to occur. The first is distance. Let's say that a boat is a mile off your starboard bow. The radar signal is sent out and comes in contact with this boat. Then it bounces off the boat and registers on the receiver. The receiver sends the signal to the computer in the radar, which calculates the time it took the signal to get and reflect back. If the computer knows how fast the beam is traveling, the speed and reflection can be applied to a formula to find the distance. As I mentioned, the second is position. The radar unit can determine a boat's position because the computer keeps track of where the radar unit is located when it receives a radar signal. The unit is constantly spinning on top of your vessel, so the radar beam is actually being swept across the water all around you. When a radar ping registers, the computer can tell where the object is located by the position of the radar unit. If the ping registers when the unit is facing 90 degrees to the south, then it plots that object 90 degrees to the south on the radar screen. Radar, is it really worth the price? The mysteries of radar and its uses for navigation have been endlessly discussed in forums and around tables up and down the country in yacht clubs and other marine organizations. So has recreational marine radar changed, and if so, has it improved safety at sea or made it easier to navigate the oceans and the home waters around where we keep our vessels? Since the invention of radar, or more specifically the invention of the electromagnetron used to generate the microwave energy used for radar, not much has changed in the basic technology. Or has it? Peruno, Garmin, Lorance, and Raymarine now have digital radars, and the Navico Group have launched a new range of broadband ones. However, do these new products help answer the Mariner's questions? Where are we? And who do I need to avoid? Before we try to answer this, let's go back to the basics. Let's consider traditional radar for a moment. The main components of a modern marine radar are a scanner and a display. The former includes the antenna, transmitter and receiver, and the latter has whatever is necessary to turn the electrical data into an image the mariner can understand. Now consider the scanner for a moment. Traditionally, in pulsed recreational radar, the magnetron is fired up with a high voltage spike and the resulting emission from the magnetron tube at a frequency of 9.3 to 9.4 gigahertz, which is known as the X-band, is channeled through a waveguide and transmitted via a rotating antenna. The rotation speed of the antenna is usually in the region of 24 to 48 revolutions per minute. A single antenna is used both to transmit a pulse of microwave energy and receive the e echoes that come from it. The time between the pulse being transmitted and the echo being received is used to determine the range. The angular position of the target, whether it's a buoy or another vessel, is determined by simply knowing where the antenna was pointed when the pulse was transmitted. Now let's consider the radar display. The display component of the radar receives the data after it's been partially processed in the scanner. This data is re received in form of a signal and processing converts it into a into PPI as seen on the display screen. These two stages of processing, one in the scanner and one on the display, combine to deliver the end product to the user as a readable display. Since 2003, both incremental and more significant changes were made to radar transmitters. During this period, changes have been made to the display processing to improve the representation of the data on the display. The radar images became clearer and the reputation of targets became more like a chart. Although not directly related to radar development, displays have also become multifunctional. They now display a combination of radar, chart, plotter, fish finder, weather system, and automatic identification system data. The ability to overlay radar on top of a chart image certainly helped users determine the difference between moving and stationary to returns from targets. However, the argument that too much information can cause information overload is equally valid. The improvement of cost-effective heading sensors has brought credible MARPA, or Miniature Automatic Radar Plotting Aid, functionality to the recreational marine market. Radar scanners become smart. Since 2006, more significant changes have taken place in the processing of radar echo and the control of the radar transmitter. These types of radar scanners have been called intelligent or active scanners. Think about the processing of the data in a radar system as a chain of events starting from the transmitted pulse and ending up as a pixel on your display. The change to an intelligent scanner has meant that more of the processing takes place in the scanner itself, the output from which is a generic communication method, generally such as Ethernet or other. The byproduct of this are thinner and more flexible cables between the scanner and the display. This new intelligence in the scanner has led manufacturers claiming their transmitters are now digital.
This claim is often misleading as the data processing has always been digital at some point in the chain. Recently, the point at which it becomes digital has now moved from the display further up the chain to the scanner.